Hello everyone and welcome back to our Raspberry Pi series and in episode 2 we're going to be looking at how to install a Raspberry Pi operating system on an SD card. So the first thing we're going to look at is how to choose the best micro SD card. We have written a dedicated post to that on our website and we put a link in the description below if you'd like to check that out. In that post we recommend two SD cards that you can have a look at that we know for sure work well with a Raspberry Pi. In our 5-6 years of testing Raspberry Pis these have been the most stable for us. We've also supplied two affiliate links below for Amazon, one for US and one for the UK, with a link to both SD cards we recommend. There is also another way of using a Raspberry Pi without actually using a micro SD. You initially will need the micro SD to install the operating system and then from there you'll transfer it onto an SSD. I'm going to cover that next week in part 3, but for now we're just going to install onto an SD card and we're going to take it from there. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to download the Raspberry Pi imager, we're going to install it and then I'm going to show you how to use it. So the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to head to the Raspberry Pi website and we're going to download the Raspberry Pi imager. So once you get to raspberrypi.org forward slash software, there'll be another link in the description below how to get there. We scroll down to this part here that says install Raspberry Pi OS using Raspberry Pi imager. And because we're using Microsoft Windows 10, we're going to use the download button for that. If you're on Mac, you can use this image or you can use the download here for Ubuntu. And obviously, if you want to use it directly on your Pi OS, if you have the GUI, you can just enter this into the terminal. So we're going to download for Windows. Now that's complete, we're going to double click on it to install it. OK, so now we're going to click install and let that finish. OK, so when, you, when it finishes, it says it will run it automatically. That's fine. Finish, run. So now we're welcome with the Raspberry Pi splash screen. So from here, we're going to choose the operating system that we want. So in our case, we don't want the full desktop version. We just want what's known as the Raspberry Pi Lite OS. So that's what we want from here. So click on Raspberry Pi OS Other. Then click on Raspberry Pi OS Lite 32-bit. Then we want to choose our SD card. So make sure that your SD card is attached to your machine through whatever adapter you're using. So we're going to click on Choose SD Card. And then we're going to click our storage here. Remember, this will destroy any data that's on there. And then finally, all we're going to do is press right. And then click yes. So what it's doing from here is it's pulling down the Raspberry Pi OS Lite image from the official source. And it's going to write it to the SD card. So now it's coming to the end of the writing process, it's going to use a verifying process now, so it's going to check through everything to make sure that it's all been copied correctly. Okay, now that's finished, you'll be greeted with this little prompt here. So we're just going to press continue. So now our Raspberry Pi image has been written to our SD card and it's ready to be used. So what we've got to do now is we need to enable SSH. It, because we aren't using the full operating system, we need to be able to connect to our Raspberry Pi for a terminal. And the protocol for that is called SSH Secure Shell. In episode 4, we'll be looking at how to connect to the Raspberry Pi over the network using SSH. So what we need to do now is enable it. What the Raspberry Pi imager does when it finishes is it automatically ejects your SD card. You should always eject your SD cards just to make sure that there's no data corruption on them when you're using them. But because obviously it's done that automatically, we need to write another file to this. So we need to put our adapter back into the USB 3.0 port on our PC. Okay, so you need to go back to where it says My PC and find your boot drive. I've got mine here. So now we're here, we need to create a file called SSH. And once we create that file, that will enable us to SSH in over the network. So the easiest way of creating that SSH file is to find start.elf, right click on that, click copy, in this blank space, right click, paste it, and this is our new file down here. Then we're going to rename it, and then we're going to come in here, delete everything that's in there, and just put SSH. Yes. So that's all you've got to do now on the SD card so that we can access it later on. 
All that's left now is to safely eject your SD card and we are now ready to boot our Raspberry Pi. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.